You're on video. On video. Okay. So, how are the first couple of days in your new trailer? <laughs> a little chilly. Minus 15. The trailer is not happy. It lights minus 5. After that, the heaters don't want to heat the trailer so well. And it's I had to rush to re-winterize the trailer. Yes. So, we live in Alberta. We know better. We de-winterized and had to re-winterize. We did de-winterize when it was plus 20. Yes. And that it went down to minus 15, like two days later. <laughs> <laughs> we learned really quick that you have to run both the furnace and the electrical heat, so you can't do one or the other, because if you run just electrical heat, then the furnace doesn't heat all the pipes underneath. <laughs> and if you run just the furnace, it's not enough heat to heat like all the way up inside. Yeah. <sighs> so. What has been the biggest shock from going from your house to the trailer? Tripping over each other. <laughs> non -stop. It's not each other. Well, yeah, opening the bathroom door into each other, that's fun. <laughs> no, it's more um, tripping over all the crap that we haven't fit into cupboards yet. Because we just tossed everything yeah. into the trailer. Yeah. Doesn't matter what it was. I'm looking, Goes in. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing the floor in the shower so we can actually shower. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Um, how many days till you found your toothbrushes? <laughs> oh, it took me three days to find the toothbrushes. So yeah, I'm that mom whose kids I know didn't brush their teeth for three days until I found the toothbrushes. I had my travel bag. I travel oh. brushed my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> no, <are> too special. <laughs> I did the whole finger toothpaste, like, squeaky. Everybody's too good to use my toothbrush. Got in there. <laughs> I was going to say, Jared, you didn't share? <laughs> they didn't want to. <laughs> Why I that said that was gross. Yeah. <laughs> she wasn't having it. <laughs> How are the kids handling it? So far so good. Levi really likes to take over your chair. He does. And yeah. he sits in there and he'll play on there and he'll eat food in there and he'll leave. He'll leave stuff all the there. lights on. Yeah. The heated chairs on, the massage chairs on, the blue glowing lights under the chairs, because you know you need blue glowing lights underneath your chairs. And he's he not in the trailer. All on <laughs> and a trail of garbage everywhere. <laughs> and he's yeah. gone. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's outside doing something. Yeah, chasing Lucy. Yeah. Uh, what time did you get to Lethbridge? Oh, uh, well, the night we finally, the movers were supposed to come at 9 a.m. They came at 11 a.m. They were supposed to take four hours. Six. Six hours? Six hours. Okay, they were supposed to take six hours to move the house to a storage unit five kilometers down the road. It took them. They weren't done until Almost 12 hours. It, it was like 11.30 at night by the time we finally left. So we all get in the truck. We're ready to go. Jared goes to start the truck. And the truck wouldn't start. And it's like <laughs> flashing lights everywhere. The big screen inside is going off. And kids and I went and hid in the neighbor's house because Jared was losing his mind. And then he comes stomping into the neighbor's house. And they had to go and rescue him with the minivan. And he's going to go film the minivan boosting Jared's truck. Because that's just <laughs> funny. <laughs> but... Um, Cold and it was snowing and blizzarding and so it was 11:50 by the time we finally left. It took the movers two trips and it took two storage units and we still couldn't see the floor of our trailer before we got to Cedric and Dez's. And it was too cold and too dark and 12:30 at night, so we didn't even sleep in the trailer. We slept in their spare bedroom. So my kids had to share a top bunk and Jared and I shared a bottom bunk. <laughs> Super fantastic. <laughs> but we got to have a hot shower in the morning and they fed us toast and coffee and it was great. <laughs> okay, so if there's something, one thing you could tell yourselves from two months ago, mm. <laughs> right now at the very beginning of your adventure, what would you say to those those people? <laughs> Do it in the spring more than, <laughs> more than, more than Alberta fake spring. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Don't do it in Alberta fake spring. False spring. False, False spring. spring. Yeah, yeah. 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 False we're, spring. we're in the throes of second winter right now. Yeah. Um, after first fall spring, we'll get a second fall spring, and then we'll get a third false winter, and then we'll get real spring. Wait till real spring. May, after May long, it'll snow May long, and then after that, it'll be... Then you're safe. Um, each weather for the rest till September. Whatever you think you need, cut it in half. Whatever storage you think you need, double it. <laughs> <laughs> Double your budget. Everything cost a fortune that you didn't anticipate spending. Fuel. Fuel. Yes, yeah, so we went through like $50 a day in propane just to try and keep that sucker warm. The furnace didn't shut off for a week. Yeah, because yeah. it was that cold. And don't dewinterize. 
until the third real spring. <laughs> mm. Oh, I did not know this, that uh, the reason my truck wouldn't start is because I left the truck, I left the trailer on the truck plugged into the truck, yes, like just the running like lights plugged into the truck, the... but it draws from the truck as well without the truck being on. Oh. I thought the truck had to be on yes. for it to draw from the truck. Evidently not, and it killed my batteries at whatever time of night. And yes. Oh, and when it's snowing, pull your slides in because when the slides come in, they bring all the snow in with them. (laughs) This is a Canadian issue. Yes. Yes. What else? (laughs) But handy when you're low on ice. Yes. Yes. (laughs) This is true. Or water, you can just collect it off the (laughs) slide little faucets inside. Um, Oh, and when it says TV backer in your trailer. Yes. When it says TV backer, you would assume that putting a screw into the TV backer would be all right. My first screw I put in, it went zap, and there goes the lights. We don't have bedroom lights puts, now. Who puts <laughs> a power cords behind the, the TV, TV backer? backer. <laughs> so, yes. Thank you. Also, so we have like two little lights above our bed. And when Jared plugs his phone in to charge on his side, his light flickers. And like it's... in and out, black and like black and on, black and on to the point. And this is a brand his... new trailer that we just picked up from. He can't Radio charge Lakers. his phone and have his light on at the same yes. time. <laughs> well, it also makes weird noises. It hums. Yes, it hums. It's not happy. With We're gonna need more batteries. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. So if you could sum up your first few days in the trailer. In one sentence, what would you say? Anderson Adventures. <laughs> no, I'm, we are sitting in our neighbor in our best friend's hot tub for a reason. <laughs> Drinking for a reason. We're not staying in the trailer tonight for a reason. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Well, can't wait for the next time, guys. Awesome. Mm-hmm.